Ah, poor little fellas. When I think of their childhood, all those cute little maggots. <laughs> Our story is about a man with nobler ambitions. He likes to kill human pests, and he does it in front of an audience. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> so hang on to your hats, kitties. This one's a real shocker. Here is Charlie Ledbetter sitting in his cell out the state penitentiary. It's long about midnight. Charlie's going to die in a few minutes. One thing Mr. Ledbetter ain't thinking about is Joe Saylor, his old boss. You see, one day Charlie had a half pint of vodka for lunch. He got to thinking about how they turned him down when he won that raise. Now, he felt real bad about that, old Charlie did. He'd been working there for about seven years, and he didn't have too much to show for it. So he went down and got his cold blue 44 out of the glove box of his Chevy, took it up to Mr. Sailor's office. Two slugs went into Sailor, three went wild. Last one went right through a glass wall into a secretary that's passing by. Got it right behind the ear. Killed it big as hell. Kind of a lucky shot, really. About the only kind of luck Charlie Ledbetter ever had. I guess right about now, Charlie Ledbetter's starting to think pretty serious about that valley of death. He's thinking about that rubber diaper they give him to wear. Wondering if he's gonna crap all over himself when I juice him in a couple minutes. He will. First thing you got to understand is when it's their time, all these big tough guys go yellow. Crying and hollering and screaming, blubbering, the governor's gonna call and all that. Well, I've been here 12 years and the governor ain't called yet. People say the damnedest things about electrocutions. They say your eyeballs pop out, they say black blood comes out your mouth. They say you get all foamy like a rabid dog. All that's bullshit. It ain't true at all. Nice thing about electricity is it's clean. Of course, I have seen a few heads smoke after it's all over. Smoking head ain't very pretty. Knock it off, Charlie. You're being some damn chicken shit. You killed somebody, now you're gonna do the hot squad. It all evens out, don't it, baby? Why are you doing this? You know, people right. tell me most executioners never look the prisoners in the eye. Afraid they're gonna get spooked or something. Not me. I always look. Uh. Oh, 
Okay, Mr. Ledbetter. Now you're all ready for your regulation two jolts the state requires. I think we should proceed now. There's been a word from the governor. Yes, sir. We're all set. Let us pray. As I enter here with a sense of my own worthiness of Jesus Christ, abiding May the blessings of God and unmixed joy accompany you. No! It's not a right! Let no evil spirit... No! No! It ain't right! Unworthy though I be, may my entry be blessed by you who are holy. You who are merciful, you who abide with the Father. They say electric current so fast the brain gets cooked just as soon as the switch is thawed. Prisoner never feels a thing. Boy, I'd hate to think that was true. Country ball, but I like the city. You know, it's big, it's dirty. It let's you know what it really is. But at night, there's all those lights. It's a real party, isn't it? My name's Niles Talbot. I've been the executioner in this state for the last 12 years. When I got here from Oklahoma, I caught on as an electrician, and after a while, I got a job out to the prison taking care of the generators. I like electricity. It's dependable. You can trust it. Let's say do it with gas or with some lethal injection. I don't take you that. And that's how you kill a dog or a cat or something, not a man. It's got to be the old electric chair for me. Special agents called Coyote Busters. The effort, which often includes agents from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the FBI, and other yeah. federal agencies... Cheese sandwich, a cup of coffee black. Agreement. Elsewhere today, the legislature is prepared to vote whether or not to rescind the death penalty in this state, only a few hours after the execution of Charles Ledbetter. Opponents of the bill claim the death penalty has proven an effective deterrent against violent crime, and its abolition will only push the crime rate higher and produce more overcrowding in our prisons. Many also claim that execution is still murder in the eyes of God. I'm terribly sorry, Niles. Hey, listen, it wasn't your fault. Nothing you could do. I gotta admit, the damn thing caught me by surprise. Well, if you'd like, I can write you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, well, I was, I was kind of hoping I'd get my old job back. I mean, you still need somebody to look after the generators down at the powerhouse. We already have someone for that, Niles. Hey, you remember you trained him. Now, listen, I've, I've been working here a lot of years. I mean, to an electric shop, another 12 throwing a switch for the state. Don't seniority count for something? It's not that, Niles. It's just that, uh... Well, we thought it wouldn't be good to have you around the prisoners. I mean, they all knew what you did. I mean, they all knew you were the man who... Could get pretty ugly. Listen, it's nothing I can't handle. If somebody gets out of line, I'd take care of myself. I can't let it come to that, Niles. I'm sure if you think about it, you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you, Gold Watch, for is it? One thing a man needs is a friend. Someone to talk to when you're feeling down and out. I suppose that's why they invented bars, you know. You nurse a drink, you think things over, have a little chat. All of a sudden, things ain't quite as bad as they seem. Most barroom conversations is either about baseball, football, boxing, or pussy. But with me, it's different. People usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I'll just say my ex-job. This one's on me, Mr. Talbot. This goddamn criminal. 
I can't believe those chicken shit politicians really did it. It's, after all those years of service, and they, they canned you like you were some fucking guinea off the boat, you know. I hate to see talent go to waste. It's a fucking shame. Thank you, Vic. You're real, buddy. Well, they're doing lots of shows on TV about the whole thing. Uh, TV people don't know nothing. They won't do something good. What they really ought to do is ought to put a lot of little TVs in all the cells of all the prisons, you know, closed circuit, so that all the guys who's locked up can watch their buddy when he gets cooked. <laughs> now, that might be a real education. Hell, yeah, I'd watch it. There was this editorial on TV, and the commentator is saying how if they televised executions, the whole country would just stop the death penalty. They'd all be too sick from it. They wouldn't let it happen again. The fucking guys on TV. What do they know? Yeah. Let me tell you something. They put executions on TV, be the fucking highest rated show of all time. Be Nielsen's through the roof. Other networks would start killing people just to compete. Pretty soon, Geraldo Rivera be pulling that switch. <laughs> All a big food chain. We eat shit and the shit eats us. They can me from my job because they're afraid of me. They're afraid of death. They don't see it's all around them. It's a disease. You eat it, you drink it, you breathe it, you fuck it. We're all pregnant with it. It's growing inside all of us. Like them, over there. You see those two junkies? Pitiful bastards, ain't they? I'll tell you something, though. In a way, I respect them. They're honest. They spend all the money they can get just to shoot a little death into their arms. Just for a thrill. Just get a little taste of the grave. See, they know death is coming. They tease it. I like that. Because at the same time, junkies are shit. Two-bit criminals. Upon examination of sworn testimony, it would appear that the state has a strong case for the prosecution of James Flood for the crime of murder. However, having reviewed the district attorney's case, I find that the warrant for arrest has been improperly worded. I'm afraid I must rule that there are no grounds on which to prosecute James Flood. Mr. Flood, you are free to leave. Yeah! <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I object. This is a travesty of justice. Because of a simple clerical error, you're letting this man go free. Congratulations. the court. This case is dismissed. Your Honor, I would like to petition immediately to the appellate court for a review. Order in this court. Order in the court. Son of a bitch, you killed my brother. Order in this court. Get back, will you? Your brother was a fag. Get out of here. I got nothing special against bikers. Hell, I used to own a hog myself once upon a time. Bikers believe in freedom. They don't want nobody to lean on them, and they don't give a good goddamn what polite society thinks of. See, they figure they're throwbacks to real Americans. You know, what the country was all about before it all went to hell. With big city lawyers and computers, corporations, time clocks and what all. There's a lot to be said for that. Those ain't bad ideas. But this biker, Jimmy Flood, now he went way out of line. And he ought to pay.
short circuit may have been responsible for the freak accident which claimed the life of alleged murderer Jimmy Flood. Flood, often characterized in the press as a motorcycle hoodlum based on his lifestyle Can you and believe that? Record. And some people say there's no God. Sure there's a God. No doubt about it. The problem is he spends too much time making assholes like that biker. And I know what you mean. He, he looks like a real creep to me. You know how on TV they get these experts, you know, the, uh, the ACLU types, and they're always saying that it's only the minorities that get the chance. Did you ever notice that? And they're all pretty dark when I get done with them, Vic. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Will the defendants please rise? Will the jury foreman please read the verdict? <clears throat> In the charge of first-degree murder, we find the defendants, Cynthia Baldwin and Theodore Carney, not guilty. The defendants have been found innocent of all charges and are free to resume their private lives. This court is adjourned. I'm very happy for you. It's over. This fella, Carney, decides to unload his wife in favor of this little hotski that he had on the side. But his old lady had all the loot in her name, so he figured that divorce wasn't quite good enough. I know where it's headed, man. We all do. Right down there between his legs. You know, I gotta say this for old Carney. If you don't do it, make sure she's worth doing it for. And this girl of his is awful pretty. Because everybody knows beauty's only skin deep. Looks just don't last. Uh, here. bucks in my wallet. It's in my pants uh, in the other room. I have some money in my purse. Please, take it. Just don't hurt us. Keep it. I ain't here for your money. I, I don't get it. What do you want? I find you both guilty of the murder of your former wife, Mr. Carney. W were you a friend of hers? Who are you? And I sentence you to death. That sentence to be carried out immediately. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. It's all Ted's idea. I didn't know he'd really go through with Shut that. Shut up, I, Cynthia. I, you gotta believe me. Shut up, Cynthia. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> problem with women. If I wanted one, I just went out and got her. Easy peasy, Japanese. Woo! Give me a beer, honey. They just want you to love them, all. That's all they ever want. They get that from their mamas, from all the trashy magazines they read. It's easy to be successful with dames. Just don't fall in love and you're okay. Give them what they want. You fall in love. They'll kill you. They can't stand you no more. They either dump you and move on, or if they let you hang around, they cut your falls off. Weird, ain't it? Now, as far as strategies for getting into their panties, that's easy to do. The old rule treat whores like queens and queens like whores. You got no problem. They're on the backs fast as you can say, son of Sam. Oh, look at those honeys. And up there, you got the queen bitch herself. Yes, sir, I got just what the doctor ordered for you. You might have fooled that jury, but you didn't fool me none. I wonder how you're gonna dance when I put 10,000 votes through your ass.
couple minutes, we're going to have ourselves one dead little go-go dancer. Well, honey, it's your time. Goddamn hell is going on here. Talbot, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Good news for you, Mr. Talbot. Since you're such a staunch supporter of capital punishment, you'll be glad to know the state legislature has just reinstated the death penalty. And guess who's not pulling the switch this time? Yeah! <laughs> Governor Corian, listen, you just delayed this thing just a couple of minutes. That's all I'm asking for, just, just a few damn minutes. Come on now, I'm not like the other one. You know me. Don't know me! I need to work here for Christ's sakes! Come on, I'm telling you, the government's gonna call! He knows what I did for him! He knows that old rat, the old fucking crumbs that I took care of! All the shit that they want me to get rid of! You have one thing! You gotta let me go, you son of a That phone is gonna ring! I'm telling you, he's gonna call! He's gonna call, he knows! When he does, if you juice me before he fucking calls, you're all gonna get tanned! You hear me? You shitheels! I didn't do nothing that you didn't want. I didn't do nothing you didn't go along with. All I did was something you want you chicken shit to do yourself! You miserable chicken shit bastards! Chicken shit fuckers! You can't do this to me! Let me out of here! <laughs> Niles, I'm terribly sorry it's come to this. job that's why I did it because it's my job if a man ain't good at his job then what the hell is he good for what's anything good for Magnifica Domine Super Nos Nomen I didn't want no haircut. They said that was a mistake because my head might catch on fire from the electricity when they juice me. I told them, don't worry. The governor gonna call. Cat, what a revolting development. And what a switch for poor Talbot. It just goes to show you what happens when you get too caught up in your work. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm sure he never knew what hit him. 
So remember, boys and girls, safety first! <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight they know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I this simple phrase to kids from one to ninety two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. God bless us, everyone. Right. Something needs to be done about that fire. Have you got the poker? Yes. Well, let me have it. What did you say? What are you, deaf? I said, let me have it. Merry Christmas, you son of a bitch. Come on now. How come Joseph didn't say goodnight to me? He's 
asleep, sweetheart, like you're supposed to be. But when Santa comes, he'll wake Joseph up. Honey, I don't think even Santa could wake up your stepfather. Now, you get to sleep, young lady, or the big guy won't come at all. I can't sleep. It's too hot. See, you're even sweating. Well, I'll tell you what, then. I'm going to open this window for you, but just a little bit, okay? The one thing you didn't ask for for Christmas, young lady, was a cold. What did you want for Christmas, Mommy? I already got it, sweetheart. I already got it. Hey, it's the Big Monster. I'm out partying. Leave your name, number, and measurements. Darling, it's Elizabeth. I know you told me not to call, but I just had to tell you. It's done. I did it. It's all ours. The money, everything. We're free. Merry Christmas, darling. Christmas Eve after KEC News on the Hour. And now here's Tracy Donahue with the headlines. Police and sheriff's departments in the Gaines County area have issued an all-points bulletin this evening for a male Caucasian reported to have brutally murdered four women in the Pleasantville area. County authorities say that the man, a patient at the Pleasantville Institute for the Criminally Insane, escaped earlier this evening and should be considered extremely dangerous. Officials confirm that the suspect is a heavyset man in his late 40s and is reported to be wearing a Santa Claus suit stolen from the home of one of his victims. All citizens in the Pleasantville Gaines area are advised to remain in their homes until further notice throughout this emergency alert situation. You sit-ups. Trip to the gym. Once in a while, it wouldn't have killed you. Now you're dead. Who's there? Hello? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, oh. Rick! 
Operator. Operator! Operator! Get me the police! You've got to help me! You've got to help me! Give me your location, ma'am. My, my location? It's... Well, not really, ma'am. He's apparently used an axe to kill his victims. I, I don't mean to alarm you, but, well, for your protection, we do suggest you lock your home and remain indoors until the deputy arrives. Yes. Oh, I will. Thank you.
You gotta be kidding me. Operator. The killer! The killer is here! Please, get me the police! I, 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 I knocked him out! He's here! You've got to hurry! He's there? Yes! Yes, he killed my husband! Give me your location. My location? Hello? Hello? Ma'am? Santa would come, 
then he didn't even have to come down the chimney. I let him in. Gather out, folks, right over here. Come see the show. 100% natural, nothing artificial. Guaranteed no pesticides, ah, but perhaps a homicide. Tonight, a special show. Two shows in one. The tragedy of death and the miracle of resurrection. <laughs> Tonight, this man, our very own Ulrich the Undying, will be sealed into a coffin and buried in a grave six feet under to await his inevitable expiration by the grasp of suffocation. <laughs> I call to your attention the clock which hangs above his grave. Ulrich will be buried alive at precisely the stroke of midnight, but we're not going to let him out until noon tomorrow, at which time his precious, precious oxygen will have been exhausted. <laughs> Folks, this is an escape that Houdini himself couldn't have gotten out of. I give to you Ulrich the Undying! <laughs>
dig me up, I'll be dead. Just like all those bastards want me to be. But I won't stay that way. I remember the day it all began. <laughs> savings will be yours if you consent to a small experiment <laughs> yes my friend come where 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 is it? where is it? please uh, you'll pardon the term is a cat scan it shows the blood flow into the brain of a healthy house cat. This shows the brain of a cat near death. No, what's your point, Doc? My point is that this cat didn't die, not permanently. An hour later, he was healthy as a kid. And the same thing happened again and again until the ninth time when he finally stayed dead. Oh, different cat, huh? What's all this got to do with me? Well, I... I want to give you those nine oh. lives. The next best... Don't touch! The next best thing to being immortal. It's, it's a simple matter, really. Uh, removing a gland from a common cat and mm -hmm. surgically grafting it into your brain. Wait, 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 wait. Into my brain? Oh, so I can die nine times. Now you're making sense, Doc. Precisely. Now, oh, and this is where you're going to do it, huh? I'm going to get your gland. And these are the tools of the profession. Hey, wait a minute. If this don't work... If it doesn't work, you have no complaints. <laughs> Holy Christ, I've had hangovers before. But this is terrible. My head. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. You didn't say when I shaved my head. How do you feel? Shitty. Doc, did it work? Absolutely fabulous, fantastic. You now have the nine lives of this poor cat. Wait a minute. How do I know I've got nine lives? This ought to kill you. No, no, no. There's no doubt about it. No! Welcome back to life, my friend. You burst! You tried to kill me! I didn't try to kill you. I did kill you. Deadlier than Calcius nuts. And I guess you'll die eight more times. Alright. If that's true, when do I get my money? As I promised, right now. But. Before you stagger into the nearest bar to slurp down your money, how would you like to make a hundred times more? A thousand? No, no. What else do you want to do to me? Nothing, dear boy. Just thought perhaps your special talent could make us both a lot of money. Enough to finance my years of my longevity research and enough, of course, to buy you an ocean of alcohol. What do I got to do? First thing you shave. Trying not to cut your own throat. Those extra lies are too valuable to waste. Why not? They're worth millions. No, I'm not interested. I've seen escape back. It's the only thing that disappears is the audience. Yeah, but Ulrich the Undyne is different. You see, he doesn't escape. He actually dies right before your eyes. That's why we can only schedule a limited number of performances. He dies? Yes. 
Okay, strange love, I'll give it a shot. I hope it works, I can use the money. My freaks need a new shoe. Gather round, gather round, as Ulrich the Undying defies the drowning chamber, a watery nightmare for which there is no escape. Three minutes is enough to kill any mere mortal. But Ulrich will remain underwater for a full hour, as verified by the eminent Dr. Manfred Mann. Dr. Emil Manfred. Whatever you say, Dr. Oh. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, boys. Oh. Fill her up. Ladies and gentlemen, as the water engulfs forward, I beg you to control your emotions. Make no move to save him. Do you want to have dinner after? What are you doing, Mila? He was a child prodigy who spent his early years. And nerve. Then you're going to be Dinner with me later. Dinner. Ah, eat. Want to eat with me? Wait, I know. After you're done. on the interstate. He's dead in shit. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. We're going to still keep him in there for a full hour. May I have the official clock? He's dead. He's officially dead. Thank you, Dr. Manfred. Drain the tank. This may seem like Ulrich's last performance. But don't go away yet, folks. For Ulrich is a man who lives only to die again. I give you resurrection! Resurrection! Is he gonna come back for dinner? Of course he's gonna come back! Resurrection, Doc! Resurrect! Resurrection! Folks, don't go away! Doc! Doc, you get in trouble with some states for this. Resurrection! Folks, folks, don't go away. I'd be happy to give you a rain check, Captain. Get the fuck up, dick folks, folks. Oh, 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 Hey, Carly, how would you like to have some Italian food? I'm buying. <laughs> Doc, get me a towel. Oh, hey, I'm resurrected! <laughs> One more time! Resurrected! He's alive! Resurrected! Get around! Get around! Yes, thank Doc. Ten grand just to let them watch me drown out in the ten o'clock news. <laughs> Don't forget, Ulri, that 60% goes to continue my longevity research. Hey, Doc, relax. We got a partnership. And I got a date. That's one thing I'll say for old Doc Manfred. He wasted no time getting me killed again. Gather round, gather round for a little frontier justice. As our own Ulrich the Undying is going to have a little necktie party if he gets his neck stripped before our very eyes. He's like a nice day to die. I became a sensation. Crowds would gather from miles around just to see me bite the big one. Hey, how's it going? Let's come. Let's come back. Hey, seeing you last time. Here. Yeah, Ladies, gentlemen, Texas, and other faint hearted may want to turn your eyes away from this horrible example of what happens when you do the dirty in the dirty town of Dastardly. Oh, I said I don't want to do it. Corley, pull, pull, pull left. You do it. I don't oh, want to. Well, there's not much riding upstairs, but downstairs, what's counting? Corley, pull it, pull left. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to. <laughs> Go on, go on, go on. Go 
Rope, 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 I was going to say, get it by percentage. Hey, Doc, no problem. I mean, after all, you're the guy counting the money, right? Me. Well, that was my share. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Doc, thanks a million. Thanks a million. Jewelry! I want to see Mr. Friendly. <laughs> I figured it was time to boost my profits. So I waited just for the right moment. Think what a strange machine the human body is, Yuri. Yeah, how about that? You can kill a man by storing less than 1% of his body. He can be 99% healthy and dead. Amazing, isn't it? Every human body is like a walking chemistry set, and if anything happens to upset that delicate balance, death. Jesus. That's why you're so amazing, Yuri. Because your body fixes itself. And it's going to make us both a lot of money. Well, Doc, you're half right about that. See, it's going to make me a lot of money. See, I got to breach our contract, Doc. You're about to die in a terrible car accident. What are you talking about? That's murder. Yeah, Doc, but who's going to suspect me? I mean, after all, I'll die with you. But hey, I got six well, lives. Wait, wait. How many lives oh, do you have? Wait! Can we wait? Slow down! <laughs> wait! <laughs> Hard feelings, Doc. Gather around, gather around. Tonight, a special delight. This is no hoax, ladies and gentlemen. In a few minutes, our own Ulrich, the man who lives to die, will be quick fried with a burst of electrical energy. And one of you lucky folks is going to be the one to pull the switch. <laughs> Carly, can you draw the lucky number? words yes i do i'd like to dedicate this death to the memory of dr emil manfred my dear friend who would have wanted me to continue shut up and cook them <sighs> are you ready you bet your ass i'm ready i'm ready to die <laughs> then no gum go for it grandma <laughs> Looks like that's the end of old Warwick, eh? Second place. Resurrection! Or are you gonna make a liar out of me? Resurrection! Okay, Org. Oh. Oh, Rick. Resurrection! Oh, just to get it. Oh, she's a kid. Come on, Rick. Resurrection! Resurrection! Come on, Rick. Come on. Resurrection! Chicken! 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 He's going to a new world record! That's one thing I hadn't figured. Some resurrections take longer than others. Appreciate your business. All right, now, first we drain the mess. You can't embalm me, he's, um, he's not really dead. Well, you could have fooled me. Now, please excuse me, I have a very tight schedule. <laughs> Listen, I missed you while I was dead. You miss me? Oh, I missed you. Oh, that one. Whoa, that one. That one. Whoa. That one was too close for comfort. I mean, if this guy embalms me, I don't know if I can come back. And even if I can, eh. So, the next time, I made special arrangements. Corley was going to get my body no matter what. Gather round, gather round. Shoot an arrow, lay the bear in the ground. Now, for your pleasure, for a limited time only, is a chance to kill a real-life human being. Yeah. I'm dying to die. Come on, hit me, hit me. Uh, in the heart, in the heart. Keep them all heart 
on as it will. <laughs> yeah! Yes, come on up here. Oh, oh, a man of the sea. Come on. come on up here, son. Come on up here, Admiral. Come on, Navy, let's go. Tell that bimbo what you got. That'll be $1,000, please. Come on, come on, what's a thousand dollars when you have to kill a real human being? Yeah. Come on, what are you afraid? Yes. No, well then, anchors away, Popeye. Okay, move away, move away. Come on, let's go. Who'll be next? Come on, what an opportunity! Oh, here's a macho man. Ha ha ha. iron, I see, huh? Oh, yeah, yes, we do take credit cards. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, step right up there, son. Time is money. Bonzo! Don't play to the crowd, play to the bear. That's the one you're trying to kill. Come on, he's dying to die. <laughs> Come on, asshole. Where'd you get that hot shot? Get the bear. One shot. One shot you have here. Come on, boy. You gonna do it. I know you can. Little bear's over there. Little bear's over there. I'm getting out of here. Oh, he's That's gonna it. kill me. That's it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, nice. oh so near and yet so far. As the French say, see tough shit. <laughs> Junior's gonna give it a try. A father and son team! Come on, come on. I know you can do it. What are we gonna? Thousand? One thousand dollars. Well worth it for my son. Come on, Ju Junior. Don't be a sissy now. I don't want to. Junior. Well, listen to your father, son. Listen to your father. All right, come on. I'm gonna get your junior membership in the NRA. You some kids wanna... kill rabbits, you can kill people. Come on now. Put your hand up. I don't want to kill anybody. Come on, I've been killing people for years. And now it's your turn. Come on, you can line it up. No. Steady. Now! Purpose, I did it too, Junior. Dad. You I did it on I didn't purpose, Junior. Little fat fucker. All right, who will be next? Come on. A personal check? Uh, yes, we take personal checks. Uh, I'll need two pieces of identification, please. Uh, look at this. Look at this. State Fair Archery Champion, 1987. Oh. <laughs> well, if anyone can hit him, I guess he can, huh? Mm -hmm. Go get him, sir, and good luck to you. I need someone to help me move the body. I'm sorry, but you can't move him. Uh, I um, I have a special arrangement with the deceased. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, tell me to keep this. If there was any injections. Holy shit! This is more money than I make in a year. You're welcome. Can I help you move the body? Yeah. You made the front page. Shitty picture. How you feeling, honey? Baby, this dying shit's taking years off my life. Oh. Okay. Who is it? Got around, got around. Here we go. 80% of the box office take. Payola from HBO and some side bet money, too. You know, Ori Booby, on a more personal note, I want you to sincerely know how I, how, I, how I want you to know. Man. Yeah. Remember, me corny as Sue corny. 60,000. Coralie, baby? Yeah? What do you say we take a vacation? Go over to Vegas, catch Wayne Newton's act, hop over to the Bahamas, and then uh, we'll skip over to Paris. Hey, did I tell you? Polanski wants to film my life story. All of them. Yeah? That sounds wonderful. But I have an even better idea. I'll go on vacation. And you... Can stay here! Stay here! Stay here! Sorry. Uh, um, I gotta... Feeling so okay, because um, just you know, enjoy the rest of your um. Oh, bye, Mr. Friendly. The rest of your lives. Yeah! Look out, baby.
pena. That bitch double crossed me. She killed me and took the money that I died for. Well, I still have one life left. And this life is going to pay me plenty. You want what? I want everything. All of the profits, 100%. 100%, but that'll leave me with practically nothing. Look, asshole, don't you remember what a shithouse this place was before I showed up? Besides, I can't help but think what the audience will do when their star attraction pulls the no-show. That's blackmail. That's right. All right. All right what? All right, 100%. And I don't know how you can live with yourself. I don't. That sucker. If I wanted, I could have got a share from his corn dog concessions. <laughs> By the old clock on my wrist, it seems that each hour is approached. Come on, boys. The time has come. Lower them down. Here we go. Hey, listen, Lord, when you get to hell, don't forget to write. <laughs> hey, see it's mud in your eye. <laughs> Although I do feel a little bad about the doc. Ah, but what the hey? I've already said for life, and all because of that poor little kitty. Poor dead little kitty. Too bad he had to die. Wait a minute. That cat, it died. I already died once. Oh my god. I don't have bad lives. Hey! Hey, somebody! Well, you ought to be about out of here by now. You're kidding. Grow up. It's all a fake. Yeah? You think so? Of course. You don't think they really let someone die down there. Nobody wait! I don't have bad lives! Here somehow? Nah. Probably just a cat. Yeah, right. Just a cat. Somebody! I don't have no body! Somebody! Let me out! in between Wheel of Misfortune and the newly dead game. <laughs> Unless they buried it in the wrong time slot. Crawly collection. 
And this one's got a message, too. It's a story about greed, death, and a girl who learned that beauty is only sin Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't. Girl, <laughs> a raven. You know something, honey? If I had a dollar for every time you stood in the mirror admiring your face, I could get off these streets and retire to the Bahamas. Yeah. Well, this face is my meal ticket, honey. <laughs> I'm cold. Let's go get some coffee. I don't know about you, but my shit's always hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here comes Mr. Trump. Hey, baby. Huh? How's business? Cat's meow. Mm-hmm. All right. How about you, sweet thing? Hmm? Pretty girl like you could use a manager. You hear where I'm at? Yeah, well, don't do me any favors, honey. Yeah, uh, just talking business, sweet thing. I'm gonna say this once. You touch me again, I'll shoot your tip off. Well, you listen up, little girl. This is grown-up time out here. You want to have an attitude? You might need some protection. Yeah, pretty girl like you. Could get ugly real fast with an attitude. You hear where I'm at? Sweet thing. <laughs> Real smooth. You keep that shit up and you ain't gonna last another night out here. Yeah, well, what makes you think I want to last another night out here? Well, girlfriend, where else you think you got the right to be, huh? Mm. <laughs> well, 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 well. If it isn't Mr. GQ, I tell you, for the rich, every night's a party night. Dream on, honey, because ain't nobody invited you. She got that I ain't got him. Nothing wrong, she don't. All right, I'm from Missouri, honey. Show me. You check this shit out. So mean. Don't worry about it. How about a little sugar for Pimp Daddy here? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 So, uh, you want to talk a little business? That's right. Strictly business. Hey, w- w- what's up, baby? Give me your jewelry. You got to be crazy. Give me the fucking jewelry, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Look, now, you know you're never going to get away with this. And the watch. No, baby, not the watch, please. What is this? Let's make a fucking deal. Give me the watch. Or don't you see where I'm at? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see where you're at. Yeah, yeah. Just be cool. Ah! 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 Like I said, strictly business. Raven! You're freelance now, honey. No oh, shit. I just said you got this stuff. The point to mine had a little accident. Truck ran over his head. Yeah.
I didn't know you was a teen idol. So how does this work? I got two months or something to redeem my stuff? Hmm? You got four months, plus 12%. If I, if I was going to take it. What's that supposed to mean? It means that if this watch was any hotter, I'd have burned a hole in my hand. I mean, a guy needs uh, asbestos gloves, some of the shit that people bring in here. Well, what are you talking about? That's a $15,000 watch. Look at the diamonds. It's hot. It's hot is what it is. You fry a big old egg on the son of a bitch. I, I, I don't want to buy your jewelry. I ain't buying your jewelry. And I ain't buying your bullshit story. Now get out of here. Now fuck you. No. Wait. Wait. I thought you weren't interested. I ain't interested in them things. But I can see you got something that's worth a whole lot more. Sorry, old man. I just retired from that business. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your beauty. My beauty? Silly me. What was I thinking? <laughs> you, 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 you wait. 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 thousand dollars cash <laughs> let me get this straight for 10 grand you make a mold of my face not, not your face your beauty yeah right and I got uh, four months to redeem my beauty if I want it back huh You know something, old man? There are people who play with the full deck, then there's you. I know. You hold still now. I hope you ain't claustrophobic. Almost time, my love. Almost time. Pretty soon, you'll be back with me. You'll look just like you did before. The day we were married.
Hello. Hello yourself. All this yours? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Life's tough. I get by. I don't want to tear you away from the guests. Well, I saw you, and let's just say something more important came up. Sounds like a cheap sexual innuendo to me. I'm sorry. It's supposed to sound like an expensive one. You don't think it's rude to leave your date, go make a pass at another woman? Who's making a pass? We haven't even met yet. True. I'm Sylvia Vane. That's V-A-N-E as in weather. I'm Ronnie Price, as in everyone has theirs. Hmm. Don't look now, but I think Miss Clarell might be getting the wrong idea. I was kind of hoping the wrong idea might become the right idea. Hmm. What are you, a psycho? Just playing hard to get. It's a little rude to slap the host and leave without saying goodbye. Thank you very much, Mr. Price. You have a lovely apartment. Good night. Wait. I don't know the first thing about you. Please tell me why you came. I haven't yet. Look, we're both playing games. You know it, and I know it. Truth is, you do know the first thing about me. You knew the second I walked in the room, the second I walked through that door, that I'm the girl of your dreams, right? You want to get out of here? But you never ask. Nope, nope, correction. You are gorgeous. It's just real expensive jewelry. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I've been thinking. Remember what you said the night we met? That girl of my dream stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you a little secret. You weren't lying. Even a little bit. <clears throat> Listen, I'll only be gone a couple of days. Probably end up sitting on the company jet signing papers. From real luck, I'll get to watch some fat Texans get drunk. <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Sweetheart, are you okay? I just dropped something. What is this, the makeup counter at Macy's? You're a knockout, for Christ's sakes. What do you need all this junk for? I don't know. I got an acne flare-up or something. I feel like I'm in high school. When I get back from my trip, we can go to the prom. What do you say? <laughs> hmm? Sweetheart? What, are you playing hard to get again? Come on, zip face. Give me a kiss goodbye. Please, sit down. Well, it does not appear to be cancer. I think we can say that first off. And I think we can also safely eliminate any pituitary disorder, specifically acromeglia, which, frankly, was my initial concern. Your medical record doesn't indicate any history of uh, reconstructive surgery. Is that true? What are you calling me, a liar? Uh, no, 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 of course not. It, it's just that uh, silicon injections, implants, that, that, that kind of procedure can sometimes result in the types of symptoms that you are displaying now, that's all. Oh. You, you see, uh, as I explained before, dermatology is my specialty, and 
Your problem could be glandular. But there are any number of specialists that I could recommend. Look, all I want is a simple answer to a simple question. What is happening to my face? Well, you're under a, a great deal of stress. Oh, you figured that out. Look at me. 48 hours ago, I could have had any man I wanted. Now I can't even get arrested. I'm 21 years old. What am I going to look like tomorrow? Miss Vane, if you'll just sit here for a moment, I will attempt to explain this to you. Um, frankly, your skin seems to be aging at an accelerating rate. Now, this does not mean that the situation is irreversible, but it's very important for you to try to think back to any time, let's say, within for the last six months or so, when you might have come into contact with a uh, toxic material, for example, uh, water, gases, radiation, anything out of the ordinary, which could have caused this. Miss Vane? Miss Vane? Man. I want it back. Here's my ticket. And 10 grand plus 12%. You didn't look at this too careful, did you? I told you the time limit was four months. Four months from this date is the fourth. Today's the fifth. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Okay, how much? You missed the deadline, lady. I know I missed the fucking deadline. If you want to mark it up, mark it up. Just tell me how much. One hundred thousand. Hey, Joe. How's tricks? Hey, Mac. Ma'am. Four bits, homie. Yeah. Must be alpo time, huh? you recognize me, lover? I'm the girl of your dreams.
way she used to look. She used to be so beautiful. Now I need other women's beauty just to keep her that way. Small price to pay, I think. Look, I don't know what kind of crazy voodoo shit you're into, and I don't really care. But, but, but we had a deal, man. Look. All that's worth more than $100,000. Now I want it back! Give it back to me! I want my beauty back! Sure. Sure. I could do that. I could give you your beauty back. If that's what you really want. Hey, Joe? Hey, Mac. How's tricks? Did you read that story in the paper? Yeah, I looked it over. Classic. Dumb broad. She stole every scrap of jewelry the guy bought for her. Then she offs the guy, leaves the murder weapon on the floor. Do you believe it? For her fingerprints on the gun. Not only that, they're already on record from a soliciting rap last year. We're not talking rocket scientists here. Mm. The second she shows her face anywhere, it's a one-way trip to the liquor shop. Huh. Have a face, too, huh? Oh, well. A face like that. Who needs brains? Ugly, trifling bitch. Good to have you back, you horror-hungry humans. 
You know by now who's here to feed your fear. It's me, the Crypt Keeper, with another flesh-creeping scream story for your shivering pleasure. I'm calling this bite of bitter bile, Lover Come Hack to Me. <laughs> so plump up that coffin pillow and settle back your bones. We're going to take a little ride to Honeymoon Hell! I'll go load the car, hon. Peggy, you'll live to regret this day. Please, don't spoil my happiness, Auntie. Lee. Peggy, I'm only thinking of your happiness. And you'll live to regret this day, too. Why would I ever regret marrying the woman that I love? You don't love her. You love the fortune that her mother left her. And, and you love her stocks and bonds and, and her real estate and, and that big house. Then you don't love any of that? Give me a break, Ann Edith. You've been sponging off at Peggy for 20 years. I've been protecting Peggy for 20 years from people like you. And I'll continue to protect her. We'll be back in a week. Make sure you leave a forwarding address, okay? You're putting me out? You can't make me leave that house. I was born there. Well, I guess you just have to find someplace else to die. You ready, honey? Yes. Bye, Ann Edith. Find where we are? Oh, I can't read maps. <laughs> oh, no. What, what is it? What's wrong? Look. Oh, must have been the lightning. Do you think you can move it? In this weather? Are you crazy? Look at the size of it. I'll get soaking wet. If we turn around and go back, it will take us all night to get to the hotel. You don't want to spend a whole wedding night on the road, do you? I guess not. You got a flashlight in here? Yeah, in here. Is this yours? No, no. I've never seen it before. Must be a wedding present from old Aunt Edith. I'll take care of it. Wait here. and catch our death of coal. Look what I found! Guess we're meant to go in. What? 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 
Don't you think that you should carry me over the threshold? Hmm? All right. Honeymoon sweet. Look, there's a phone. Can I call AAA? Sure, if it works. I'll get the bags. How did you know the line was dead? What'd you expect? Obviously, no one's been living here. Come on. Where? I'm gonna go exploring. Well, it looks like nothing's been touched here for 20 years. <gasps> what now? It's just a family portrait. Probably someone's mother-in-law. <laughs> you get it? Mother-in-law? Old battle axe, Aunt Edith. Was this put here for us? What, the axe? No, the fire. It looks like it's just been recently laid. Yeah, who cares? I think fires are very romantic, don't you? Yes, dear. Especially when they're lit. Take your clothes off. What? Take off your wet clothes so they have a chance to dry. It's about time we saw each other naked, don't you think? After all, honey, we are married now. Yes, of course. Just let me get my bag. All right. All right. Peggy, where are you? Right here. Thank you. Wish I had a drink. Well, we have other things, you know. What? Each other. Yeah, right, each other. You're not really attracted to me, are you? What are you talking about? My aunt was right, wasn't she? You did only marry me for my money. Oh, honey. Be silly. Honey. You know I love you. Do you? God, of course I do. I want you too. You do? Yeah. Do you remember how many times I tried to make love to you before we got married? Hmm? You were always the one that said no. 
Was because I wanted to keep myself perfect for this night. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. You don't know how important it is for me to have this night be perfect. I know, it's important to me too. Do you mean that? Yes, I do. I do. I want you. Oh, honey. Oh, I want you. I want you so much. Charles, please. Charles, stop. Stop it! Stop! What? What? I thought this is what you wanted. It is. I want it desperately, but not like this. What do you mean? What's wrong with this? This is perfect. There's a storm outside. Cheery fireplace inside. What's wrong? In the bed, please. In the bed. All right, in a bed, if we can find one in here. Thank you. Anything to please my wife. Ah, this is just perfect, huh? Well, we can only try. What's with this clock ticking? It makes me feel safe. The sound. Peggy? Peggy! In here, Charles! <sighs> huh. Isn't this so beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Look! This is so weird. The bed looks like it's just been made. Look at all these candles. Ooh. It even makes it more romantic. You light them and I'll go get changed. All right. This is perfect, isn't it? Absolutely, my darling. Perfect honeymoon. Starting the perfect marriage. With the perfect wife. Are you in bed yet? Yes, I'm in bed, honey. You know, I'd do anything for you. Oh, and I'd do anything for you, too. And your bank account. This is anything. I hope you like it. Peggy? Yes? You do like it, don't you? Like it? I love it. Good. Good. Because I want this to be as perfect for you as it is for me. Thank you. 
be perfect, isn't it? As perfect as I can make it. <laughs> and baby, I can make it perfect. <laughs> child I know we did and she's only this this big and it was perfect as perfect as it will ever get What the hell? Ooh, looks like somebody needs a little cooling off. Let's do it inside. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, you're wonderful. Mm. Mm. I want you. Oh, I want you right now. I want you to. Let's go. No, I don't want to do it in a bed. I want to do it somewhere special, somewhere perfect.
this one really perfect. Certificate is real. She is mine. And every goddamn penny she's got in the world is mine too. Alan, our love is complete now. Perfectly complete. We made a baby girl, and she's only this big. Believed her when she said she was a virgin. This is the way love should always remain, my dearest. Clean and sweet and passionate. But it doesn't. Time sours it. Passion cools. But that's not going to happen to our passionate love, my dearest. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to keep it just exactly as it is. Preserve it for always. I'm not going to let time spoil our love. Where's the axe? Wake up, darling. Wake up. Wake up! Good. Now go back to sleep. No! No! <laughs> It's not, Peggy. They're both ghosts. You see, Alan. Alan? I told you I'd preserve our love. Peggy's father was named Alan. He died before Peggy was born. Peggy's mother killed her husband in this house on their wedding night. That Peggy was conceived. Don't you think Peggy would be a nice name for our little girl? Oh, please, 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 God, please, please God, please let me be dreaming. Oh, please, please, God, please, God, please. Easy. Oh, yeah. ah. Easy. It was just a nightmare. I guess. I guess it was a nightmare. You need a towel. Yeah. What were you dreaming about? Oh, it was about your parents. I dreamt that your mother killed your father in this house on her wedding night. That's weird. That's exactly what happened on the night I was conceived. What? And I want what my mother had. A perfect honeymoon. A perfect love. That I can make sure that time does not spoil. We don't have a perfect love. Peggy, I married you for your money. I've never loved you. That's not true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. See? Now, I brought this to kill you on our wedding night. 
I was gonna blame it on a burglar, and then I was gonna inherit all your money. But you didn't shoot me, because after we made love, you realized that our honeymoon was perfect, and that you loved me. No. No, I'll shoot you now. I swear to God, I'll shoot you right now. You love me too much to kill me. You want to bet? See? Our love is perfect. That's why I'm going to preserve it. For always. No! Sleep tight, Charles. And Edith! And Edith! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you came. Oh, I'm so glad you called. <laughs> How was your wedding night? Oh, it was wonderful. I'm going to have a baby girl. Really? And she's only this big. That's lovely, dear. <laughs> you love her, won't you? Well, of course I will. Just as I loved your mother. As I love you. <laughs> only no more men. Understand? I promise. Besides, I don't need one anymore. Now that I have my little girl. But she's going to need one. Someday. Of course she will, dear. Of course she will. <laughs> Talk about family traditions. All you bouncing bachelors out there. A word of warning. Before you take that matrimonial plunge, check out the bride's background. Open her closet door and see if any family secrets fall out. Beware of skeletons, unless they're yours truly. <laughs> Introduce you to my pet, Peeves. He has a terror tale of his own. <laughs> Tonight's skin pimpling story is about a couple with their own pet Peeves. I call this chunk of chilling charnel chatter collection completed.
almost time. Everybody stay in the kitchen now, okay? He's going to be so surprised. That... He's here. He's here. Every, every, everybody be quiet now. Shh, 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 shh. Welcome home. Oh, you poor little thing. Oh, what's your name, huh? Mew, Mew? I'll just bring you inside. Yes, we will. You shut the door right on my face. Jonas, you're home. Oh, we've been so excited all day waiting for you to get here. Let me take those for you. You just relax. No, I, I got it. It's okay. No, no, no. You, you've had a hard day. Come on, let me. Let me. I'm ah! How did that thing get in here? Let me help you up. Oh, oh, here. I'll put your things away for you. Oh, look at this. My, that is beautiful. What is it? That's 47 goddamn years. That's what that is. 47 years. Sun time hand tools. Six days a week, 52 weeks a year. Look at that thing. Some thanks. Can't even tell time with it. Well, I think it's beautiful. You should be proud. Proud? Sure. Real proud. Proud to be put out the pasture day I hit 65, I'm out of there. Never mind, I'm 17 years regional sales leader. Never mind, just throw the old duff away. Well, I'm sure they'll miss you. And anyway, you've done enough for them. This is your time now. So let's start right now. You come sit over here because we have a surprise for you. Who's we? You didn't. Now, you know I hate that. God damn your cats to hell! What do I have to do? Search my own cotton-picking chairs every goddamn time I want to sit down under my own roof? Is that what I have to do? I don't know how it got there. The cats know that that is your chair. They would never... Oh, I'll just... I'll just throw it away. You can throw away that new cat while you're about it, too. He's my new friend. You can get rid of him now, because as of tomorrow, you won't be lonely anymore. You won't be needing any animals. I'm going to be home all day, right here in the goddamn house I've worked for all my goddamn life. Right here, sharing our golden years together. Yeah, finally I'm going to get some time for you, Anita. But now i got to hit the sack. But the party! Too tired. Too tired. Oh. I'm so sorry. But Daddy's called the party off. You turn off the alarm. I'm going to be late. Late for what? I got to get started, but you can sleep as long as you like. Ooh. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. oh. That's not such a bad idea. I can stay in bed as long as I feel like it. I can. Get up whenever I want. Oh, 
can't stand it. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, that's all right. You can come in. I, uh, uh... You look like a mad dog foaming at the mouth. <laughs> oh! Ow. What are you doing? I'm going to take my bath. Now? Bath? In the morning? Of course. It's okay. I don't mind if you're here. Well, couldn't you take it later? I always take my bath at this time. God damn it all. You have to make me say it, don't you? All right. I have to sit down. All right? I'm embarrassed now, and now I'd like a moment or two of privacy, please. Oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead. I'll leave. Eat your breakfast. Oh, you're just jealous. Ah, oh, the golden years. <laughs> Retirement. My first free weekday since I was 17. Why don't you just take the day and do nothing? Just relax. You could pass out in your chair with the TV on. Damn it, I don't want to watch TV. I'm a productive citizen. I got mandatory retirement. Mandatory. But I thought you'd like to pass out with the TV on. I was working then. I had a right to pass out. So, do a little work and then pass out. Gappy! Here's your breakfast, honey. What the goddamn hell is going on? Are you running some kind of luxury resort for every flea-bitten parasite that trips across my doorstep? What's that dog eating? A steak? These are my friends. Must be costing a fortune. I can't believe I worked 47 years just to shell out for every mangy cat and dog that's hungry enough to be your friend just because you feed it. They keep me company. They're all I've got. Now, what the hell is that supposed to mean? All right, so I've been a little busy the last 47 years. I just didn't have time to sit and gap with you night and day. I had a living to earn. Now, now. Isn't that important? Just eat your breakfast. Ah, 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 ah. Beat it, you freeloader! Get away from my counter, damn you! Ah. Uh. Anyone down here? Jonas? It's me, Roy. Oh, great. Hey, Roy, bunny. How you doing, neighbor? Anita tells me you're retired. I saw your car outside, and it had me going for a while. I figured either you're sick, which I've never seen you get, or your car broke down. One or the other. Retirement just never occurred to me. Sounds like you've been doing a lot of thinking about this. Better run to the newspapers. Inquiring minds will want to know. <laughs> Say, now that you've got plenty of time on your hands, I thought you might like to try one of these. Terrific, Roy, and really terrific. But I've got real work to do, Roy. 
pruning. It's like a jungle out there. There's no shortage of things to be done around this place. That's just fine. I'd go nuts with nothing to do. I'm not going to be one of those geezers that just sits on the porch waving at cars. Well, to each his own, I always say. Well, look who's back. Hey, beat it, you mangy mutt. Duh. Hold his brass tacks. Tell you, I'm worried about Anita, Roy. She's obsessed with animals. I don't like to air our dirty laundry out. I think she needs help. Now, by the way, uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, didn't spread that around. Well, she's been that way since anybody in the neighborhood could remember. It's funny you wouldn't know. I seen her sitting on the green with a squirrel perch right on the top of her head. And it was like she was talking to him. Squirrels? God, that's disgusting. Tree rats, that's all they are. And birds. You should see her with the birds. Not healthy, Roy. Driving me crazy. Well, you shouldn't let all these things bother you so much. Retirement takes some adjustments. Maybe you ought to try that model plane I brought you. Or if you don't like it, you can find yourself another hobby. That's not for me, Roy. I say hobbies are just a waste of time. I'd say you about got it. It's so nice to have a man around the house to take care of. What the hell is this crap? It's tuna. It's good for you. Where'd you get this from? I got it out of the cupboard. Looked all right to me. Where is it? Let me see the pan. Nita, this is cat food. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. This is just too much. Jonas, oh, where have you been? Come here, boy. Jonas? You name this dog Jonas? I'm sorry. Oh, he reminded me of you. I mean... Don't ruin it with an apology. And I'm flattered. Honored, in fact. Why don't you just invite him in? Have him sit down at the table. I think we have a sandwich already made for him. The spirit of Elvis is in the body of her Doberman Pinscher, claims Aggie Leaflert of Gilbert, Iowa. The dog Ooh, that has the sounds bad. Elvis curl of the lip. That's nothing. It it must be coming back. down with a little cold. Circles whenever hound dogs I'm not so sure. It sounds like a hairball to me. A hairball? Oh, God, you're unbelievable. She's cold. I'm getting a headache. Do you think you could please get me some aspirin? Oh, sure. I think I have some in the kitchen. Cougars, originally thought to be scavenging food left by homeless drifters, are now verified as feeding on the homeless themselves. Brought you a little treat. A brownie? I asked for aspirin. Go ahead, try it. What was in that? Your aspirin. I put it in the brownie for you. God damn it, Anita. I'm not like your dogs or your cats. You don't have to put my medicine in food. I am not an animal. I'm a human being. Anybody here? Jonas? It's me again. I brought you the B-1 bomber this time. Hey, thanks. Can't wait to get at it. Uh, listen, old buddy. I know how this must look. But for me, these models, well, it's not just about building planes. You want to slow up a bit. 
let life pass you by a little. Well, when you start letting life pass you by, that's the day you start to die. No, I, I, I don't need to slow down. You, you know what Anita did last night? She gave me medicine like you would a dog. I'm not her husband. I'm like one of the pets. Have you talked to her about this? She may not be used to having you around the house all day. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe you're right. I guess I could be partly to blame. I think you two ought to sit down and have a nice, long talk. I've been so wrapped up in my own problems, I couldn't see that you had problems, too. I'm sorry. I really am, but... Well, that's all in the past now. We can make a brand new start. We'll be the way we used to be. I'll rub your stomach and you can lick the back of my leg. I thought you might be thirsty. Well, I'll just set it down on the table here for you. If you need anything, I'll be cleaning out the fish tanks. You miserable! occurred to me. The perfect hobby. A hobby I know I'll just love. Oh, Jonas! Oh, Skippy's bone! Skippy didn't mean it! Oh, I don't know, fella. I'm going out for a while. I wonder what that man's been up to down there in that dingy old basement. Well, whatever it is, we were just in time. Any more of his yard work, and this place would begin to look like a parking lot. By the way, you haven't seen the other Jonas anywhere, have you? That old bulldog. No, can't say as I have. Have you seen Skippy? What are you doing here? Get the hell out of here! I didn't tell you you could come down here. Well, I can't find Jonas either. He never stays away this long. Jonas is out back. I just heard him. Jonas, come here, little baby. Mommy's so... Jonas! Is that you? Oh, Jonas, where have you been? Mommy's been worried about you. What 
do you think? What is this? What's happening? He's the prize in my collection. Part of my new hobby, taxidermy. You can't be serious. How could you do this? I'm doing this for you. I'm making adjustments so we can share our common interest in our golden years. When you love animals, now I can learn to love them too. But these animals are like my children. Good children not to be seen and not heard. What have you done to my babies? Mew, mew. You're not going to touch Mew Mew! Mew Mew, come to Mommy. Mew Mew, it's very important. Come here, little baby. Oh, please, where are you? Where's Mew Mew? Around. She's around. But first, it's showtime. <laughs> Here they are. My complete collection. What do you think? Jonas, please. I'm really proud of my handiwork. Now, you think it's the large animals are the most challenging. Actually, it's the small ones that require the special technique. I bet you can't imagine how many bones there are in a chipmunk's foot. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you looking for? Oh, yeah. Something is missing, isn't it? Huh? The final piece in my collection. Something like... Give it to me, Jonas. I can't give it to you like this. I haven't finished with it yet. I haven't really even started. Jonas, please! I believe in using chloroform. Doesn't shock the system. Muscles don't tense up and they pull away from the bones like butter. You're not going to kill that cat! Nina, no! Is this show all right with you, Jonas? That's nice. I made tuna for lunch. Your favorite. As I've said before, it's so nice to have a man around the house to take care of. Hi there. I just dropped by to see how you two were doing. Well, come on in, Roy. How's Jonas? Oh, he's really slowed down and learned how to enjoy life. He's much happier. Oh! He really is. I guess. Jonas learned that a hobby can be very self-fulfilling, as long as you're not too stuffy about it. <laughs> so until next time, I want all of you to sit, stay, play dead. 